Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share my first update on my experience with the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i Aura Edition for 2024. It retails for $1,299 US dollars at the time of this video. I'll include a link in the description for those of you interested in picking one up. And in full disclosure, this was furnished to me by the manufacturer for review purposes, but we'll be going back once my coverage has been completed. So what is the Aura Edition all about? Well, it's building on the success of the Slim 7X to its right, which is powered by uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite, offering a new concept or offering, really, of thin and light laptops with battery life and performance unlike anything you've ever seen, not just in the PC world, but in the world. Now, with the Snapdragon X Elite in this machine, we had some compatibility awareness, uh, shall I say. And I, what I mean by that is that you have to know this is an ARM chip, not an x86 chip, which means that while Microsoft has done an amazing job because of their launch of their latest uh, Surface products with compatibility with their translation layer, there are inevitably still some things that simply won't be compatible. Uh, good examples uh, are, you know, different drivers for, let's say, older printers, more niche products, color calibration devices, uh, certain anti-cheat gaming software. The list goes on and on. Everyone has their own personal list is how I would put it. Well, jump over to this machine with Intel's Lunar Lake Ultra 7 processor, and that all goes out the window because this is an x86 machine, so no compatibility issues. And now with Lunar Lake, Intel is actually at least it appears to be, the per watt performance champion of the world. Not just in the PC world, but Apple, yeah, you're, you're on the chopping block too, my friend. So, it runs cool, it runs quiet. In fact, even when it's benchmarking, I would say the heat that it produces and the fan noise, it's actually comparable to what Windows machines typically feel and sound like when they're often just idling. So it's really amazing what Intel has done here. The Wi-Fi 7 performance on my 6E network uh, is excellent, not having any issues uh, with that at all. We have a 15.3 inch, uh, not a 4K display, but a nearly 3K IPS panel, 500 nits peak brightness. It is color accurate. You can, of course, change color profiles with this. And I do believe that Lenovo will be offering an OLED with this uh, build eventually, but at present, this is the display I'm reviewing, and to my knowledge, the only one available at the time of this video. Uh, but the good news is, is that even though this isn't an OLED, it is an excellent display. We have solid speaker performance, just as you would expect from Lenovo in a thin and light machine like this. And I have to say, the nearly one inch of gained real estate on the display is a welcome addition. Now, in addition, not to be cute, to everything I've just mentioned, we have far superior uh, port selection here. We have HDMI 2.1. We have a headphone and microphone combo jack. We have Thunderbolt 4, whereas with the Qualcomm option, which is still a great choice and a little bit less expensive, you're only going to have Type-C ports, quite literally. We have a full HD IR cam top center. Uh, let me go ahead and show you a quick video test so that you can get an, a good idea, at least, of what to expect with some uh, HDR content and also speaker performance. It does get very loud. I think that gives you a pretty good idea. Let's also take a peek, or I should say a listen, uh, to some voice, uh, some spoken audio, rather than simply uh, music. Chances are the reason why you're watching this video is because you're looking to purchase a new TV. You Not just quite. Bought a TV. Manufacturer for review purposes, but we'll be going back once my coverage has been skipping ahead. IPS is the only flavor of screen display. We are at 100%. On volume. You see how I got ahead of myself and I kind of didn't lose my way, but I'm very excited. And that 70 watt hour is going to be all about uh, not so much. Okay, so I'm going to stop that there. So I mentioned the 70 uh, watt hour battery, and I think that's important to point out again because, you know, Lenovo is quoting over 20 hours of battery life with this machine. 
uh, when you are running the display at 150 nits. Now, I will never run this display at 150 nits. As I mentioned, I have it at around 70, 75% right now. And that's really where I will likely keep it. Uh, the machine, again, that extra inch of real estate, the lack of compatibility issues, and then the fact that this starts at $1299, but inherently will go down in price, I assure you. This is a new performance champ. I think design language is good. Build quality is excellent. The keyboard is fantastic. The trackpad is also really good. So I'm really struggling to find too much to critique about this. Now, uh, one of the most important things I did not mention, gaming. And that's because we actually have a big bump in the iGPU department with Lunar Lake. In fact, as you can see, I've got Rust on there, Helldivers 2, uh, and I've just scratched the surface. And I say that because I think Intel has woken up. They are aware of the proliferation of PC gaming handhelds, starting with the Steam Deck, uh, of course, Asus, uh, Lenovo, MSI, everyone really putting their best foot forward, but mostly with AMD Silicon. So Intel knows if they're going to get their foot in the door, their iGPU has to start hitting grand slams, not homers. And this one appears to. Uh, if you're able to live with full HD, medium uh, graphics, you can actually pull off decent frame rates uh, with AAA titles, which is kind of amazing. Now, Helldivers 2, one of my current favorites, has been since launch. This can run it. Uh, low settings, full HD. Um, I'll be doing a gaming test eventually. Um, that is really what is so amazing about this. Uh, so from an iGPU standpoint, the days of needing discrete GPUs to game, as long as you're not looking for really high fidelity gaming, they appear to be over. And I didn't mention this display is 120 hertz. Uh, for anyone that was wondering if that was something you were concerned about, don't be. Uh, the full HD webcam is serviceable. It's certainly not the best I've seen on a machine, but it's fine. Um, I actually think the one in the Slim 7X is a little bit better, uh, but it is higher res. I believe it's 1440p, whereas this one is full HD, so that goes without saying. And that's just part of the design language difference. Also, this guy can go completely flat. Uh, the Slim 7X cannot do that. But overall, I really like this machine. I think Lenovo has gotten everything that they should get right with this, and I haven't even scratched the surface on the Intel features uh, pertaining to the ability to seamlessly uh, essentially just touch your phone to the side of the display and transfer images. Just Intel trying to show why this is unique. Uh, the 65 watt uh, included charger gets this thing charged up really fast. I mentioned in my unboxing, 15 minutes will get you three hours of runtime, which is crazy. Uh, and with that 70 watt hour battery, I'm easily seeing around 14 to 15 hours. Granted, this is very early and I don't really want to give any battery life uh, results yet, but Again, from an efficiency standpoint and what this is capable of doing and the fact uh, that under load, it is, as I mentioned earlier, nearly as quiet and cool as what machines like this used to idle at. It's just bonkers. Drink it in because it is craziness. Um, and then you have the fact that it is not that expensive. I don't think $12.99 is bad at all. And I think you have two really good options depending on what you're looking for uh, from Lenovo right now. Personally, um, I had no problem recommending the Slim 7X at launch. It really impressed me, but I have no reason other than the OLED display on this one to recommend it anymore now that the Aura Edition exists because this is going to do everything a computer should and we're not sacrificing uh, efficiency anymore. In fact, this is going to have better battery life. Uh, I'm believing uh, than what we got out of the Snapdragon X Elite uh, with the Slim 7X. So a lot to like here. Very excited to share this with all of you. Stay tuned for that gaming demo. Not something that you would typically get from me with iGPUs anymore, but now that Intel is stepping up their game to capture this piece of the market that they've totally missed, exciting things are coming. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.